Hey guys, make sure that you follow me on social media and also check out my previous beauty videos and also check out my hair company. We'll be having a 20% off Black Friday sale. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be reviewing these new Milani 2-in-1 foundation and concealers. Now this product has been out for a few months, but I wasn't able to find the right shade for me. So I just recently was able to find a close shade for me. But as you'll see, I clearly had to buy both of them in the demo. So yeah. And everyone has been raving and ranting on YouTube about the product. So I said I have to like do something. I have to get my hands on the foundation to basically see if it's actually worth the hype. Because honestly, most foundations are pretty much medium to full coverage. But this one is said to be a concealer as well. And for you guys that already watched me, you guys know that I I have pigmentation issues and like, you know, acne scars and stuff. So I have to use a yellow corrector or, you know, a concealer underneath my foundations or even on top. But honestly, like, like, I don't want to spoil it, but I'm telling you, this product, yes, this foundation, I did not use any concealer, like, whatsoever underneath. None. So if you guys are interested in seeing how this foundation holds up, or if it does, if it lasts, or if it doesn't, make sure that you stay tuned. Wow. Like, you see that dark spot that I had? It's like gone. This is some bomb stuff. Okay. Well, already we do know that it definitely conceals. And honestly, it doesn't feel heavy coming on like that. This might be my new staple product. If it, it lasts though, because I like matte. Like I love matte foundations because my T-zone is so oily. Like. It's a little dark. And orange. Okay, so it's looking a little orange. What is this gold glitter? It's getting on my nerves. See, I'm gonna have to mix. See, this is too dark. It is too dark, unfortunately. Um, but I'm going to keep this one because I might go ahead and buy the next color, the next shade. But I actually love, I actually love it because of the coverage. Like it's 100% full coverage. Like definitely. And this is like just one layer. Um, and it has covered like all of my dark scars. This is bomb. Um, but it's not my shade, but it's almost close. But like, like I said, I can always try to mix the two together. The next color. Um, I don't know guys, what do you think? It's starting to kind of, oh, it's so shiny right here. It irks me. Okay, so it kind of looks, it looks a tad bit better, but it's still too dark. You know what I'm saying? It's still too dark. Like, it's just what it is. So, yeah, this sucks. I'm going to run to the store and get the next shade. And I'll be right back. Hopefully, you guys, the lighting does not change. I, I do apologize for that. I'm using natural lighting. And sometimes it just fluctuates. Okay, so I've gone out. And I just bought the color Chestnut, which is 13. This is Toffee. This is Chestnut. This is a shade lighter. And I'm going to go ahead and see. I'm going to use small drops since it has dried already on me. Um, also, I will say 
there's not much transfer. Like, you know, it's really not now that it has, you know, dried. So that's a good thing. Is it looking better? No, the screen is like far from me. This is a 50 millimeter lens. So I can't just like, I'm not really close to the stand. The stand is like three feet away, three or four feet. Okay, I think this is more so my color. But um, I can tell already by just like going out to the store that this is going to last like this is not like something that's going to just like wash away like the maybelline fit me matte and portless matte and portless stays but it just depends like you know what i'm saying it's not as full coverage as this because like i said this is a concealer and foundation so they did really really good i've used a blend I used the Beauty Blender to a damp one to blend it out. So, I don't know, is it looking better? <laughs> as far as the color goes, this miss that, please. But just look at the fact that it's a great foundation. Let's just talk about the foundation itself. Now, let's say that, let's pretend in a magic Alice in Wonderland fairy tale that, you know, it's the perfect color. If you do find your shade, God bless you, okay? But this is definitely a good foundation. This will definitely be like my fall favorite. Like, I love that it's like not transferring, bro. I do. Love it. I love that. Like, ooh wee. This is like, this cuts down like 10 whole minutes of like every tutorial that I've ever done <laughs> like I won't have to do the whole you know color correcting and everything oh y'all gonna be like girl yes spare spare us I'm liking it I really am mm, the color like I said is kind of off mm. but you know maybe if I put like a little more and then considering the fact that my chest is lighter than my face you're i'm not gonna get the perfect color so yeah i give this a complete thumbs up and yeah you guys should definitely try this foundation it smells good too it has like a smell to it but it smells good it doesn't like stink or anything like that it's kind of like mac mac has like this semi-sweet smell mac oh well the studio fix fluid does definitely a new favorite i'm excited i still hate the fact that i have to mix the two oh but you know mm. it is what it is after i put on like you know my um concealer and everything you know like the highlighting concealing highlight and contour it should definitely blend better so whatever so yeah thank you guys for watching that wraps up this video Make sure you thumbs up and subscribe and check out my other beauty videos and see you guys next time.